Every art piece is by its nature a timestamp of the period in which it was created. And every artist strives to create work that's relevant to the time that they are in. However, I have found that over the course of my career, the pieces which end up being the most relevant in the end are the ones that I never saw coming. They are not the ones that were born out of some current trend or conjured up out of my own deep personal musings, but were instead the ones that surprised me as much, if not more than anyone else. And that is the story of this piece. It was early January of this year, and I was actually starting work on an entirely different piece when I was approached by someone who wanted to commission me to do the hymn, Great is Thy Faithfulness. A few years ago, I had this idea. I wanted to create a series of art pieces which were this beautiful calligraphic expression of some of the most beloved hymns of all time. But more than that, I wanted to build the composition of each hymn based on the words within it and even tell the backstory of how and why the hymn was first written. Before these hymns were ever sung by the masses in church pews around the world for decades or even centuries sometimes, they were usually born out of a quiet moment to a particular person at a particular time. Thomas Obadiah Chisholm is the author of Great Is Thy Faithfulness. Chisholm was born in Franklin, Kentucky in a small log cabin in 1866. He was living proof that a great artist can come from anywhere. I was honestly a little disappointed when in my research, I found from Chisholm's own diary that there was no real dramatic backstory as to why he actually created Great Is Thy Faithfulness. What he did say is that he was inspired by the verse Lamentations 3, 22 and 23. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Chisholm suffered from chronic illness all his life. And in his early years, he worked as a school teacher. But because of his failing health, he would often miss work, which led to gainful unemployment and years of poverty that followed him all of his life. Though this hymn was born out of Chisholm's sorrow, it is deeply joyful and uplifting. And that is what I wanted to capture in this art piece. Great is thy faithfulness, O God my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not, thy compassions they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever wilt be. What a great assurance this is, as we live in a world that is in constant flux around us like the winds that are constantly moving in the middle of a hurricane. As I was writing this portion, I was thinking about Chisholm again and all that he had seen over the course of his life. He was born a year after the Civil War, so he came into a nation divided. He would have lived through two world wars, the pandemic of 1918 and the Great Depression, just to name a few how wonderful it would have been for him to meditate on the thought that though the world was in constant upheaval, God remains the same. The swan, which blossoms from the first initial of the word faithfulness, is a symbol. You see, the swan was regarded for generations and generations as the symbol of fidelity because they are one of the most faithful creatures ever found in nature. 
the word is adorned in this beautiful scroll work that is entirely gilded with 23 karat gold leaf. The scribes of the old manuscripts used to always use gold leaf when they were trying to portray the light, truth, and beauty of heaven. As I came to the chorus, I painted the words in repetition as if they were beams of light coming out of a sunrise. By the hope of a new morning, we get to see God's mercies bathed in the beautiful color of the morning light, if we only have eyes to see them. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. This portion of the text was inspired from Matthew 6, 26. Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? So to us is the faithfulness of our God as the trees are to the birds. In it, we find refuge, we find sustenance, and we find safety. And so that is why I chose to illuminate the word faithfulness as these great old trees and you see these small birds coming to it. I filled the border of this piece with the branches of a magnolia tree transitioning through all four seasons. The magnolia tree, which is native to Chisholm's home state, is also the symbol of spiritual health. So this little poem of hope, which was the song of one man's heart in the midst of his sadness, became an anthem through the ages for all who count their mercies in the morning light. Thank you.